The first pendulum clocks tended to be just in simple boxes, but this one has been put into a most beautiful case, as you can see. It's got all the classical features which were so popular about this period in the Restoration time. It's likely that this case was designed by Christopher Wren, and it has all the details of a classical building. You've got the columns, which even have the emphasis, the tapering um, of a classical building, the, the bases, the Corinthian capitals, uh, the, the finials, the swags, Capitals and the spandrels are beautifully made. The cast brass, the capital here, the Corinthian capital, made by lost wax, so you can get all the interstices and the detail, whereas the spandrel here is probably a split mold. And then the, the hole is gilded by mercury gilding, where they dissolve the gold into the mercury press it into the surface of the, the brass, and then it's heated red hot to boil off the mercury. Hopefully, the clockmaker not breathing it in, killing himself. So part of the classical building is a finial, and the most beautiful finials, the four on the corners, and the, the one on the top, but the little corner ones are flaming urn, classical, uh, finials cast in brass and gilded in gold, mercury gilded, and absolutely beautiful. And to show that this really was a pendulum clock, they have fitted a mock pendulum. It's not a true pendulum, but it's an extension of the pendulum. So you can see the pendulum swinging backwards and forwards from the front uh, to show it's a true pendulum clock. So the result is a holistic whole. It's not the sum of its parts which can be put together. It's been designed initially as a beautiful building. And here it is with all the detail as, as I've described.